All right, what's up guys? Shu got back from the video. I told you guys I was gonna do another review. And right here, I'm gonna bring you um, Bucinich Pure Boost Red Review slash unboxing in the size nine and a half in the red and white colorway. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the review. As you can see from the view that I'm giving you right now, it's a black and white box. That's an Adidas. I don't, I don't wear the whole shoe. And as soon as I open it, you see the shoe right there, but I'm trying to figure out which way. <clears throat> Grab this shit. I'm only gonna take one shoe out. The reason is because it's really hard for me to put the shoe back in good position into the one you need every time. But it's all good. Like I already forgot how this shit's gonna go back, but here it is. The what's hot in here, bro? Here is the my bad. The abuse in it in the red colorway, right? Um. So look at this right here, right here. In the upper. We have an all suede material running across the shoe. All suede. Okay. Um, I'm sorry I'm stuttering it's because it's fucking hot in this garage. It's a pocket 100 something degrees in here. Probably a 110. And it's hot and I'm recording here. But anyways, back to the shoe review. On the suede, you got three sh three lines going across the whole shoe, representing Adidas, obviously. You know how I rock my Adidas. Let me move over to the laces. These are red, all in red. Very small laces with some mesh right here. That for the tongue. And you look at the tongue, it's like a um, cheap plastic, not plasticky leather. Patent leather, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, um, red with the Adidas logo sign right there. And it says Adidas Bucinets in a black and gold, which is really dope looking. Um, I believe, no, okay. Anyways, we turn it around. You have, again, three stripes and all red. Not a suede right here, it's like, mm, kind of like what your jean feels. Mm, and then red. And then gold, we got the letters saying Bucinets. I do not know what that stands for, it's probably just the name. Right, we have the suede running across the whole shoe, as like I said earlier in the video. And then we move on to this little plastic cage right here. Very plasticky feel, right? Nothing too bad, right? So we got it in the same side right here. We do have the tag right here, which say it's dead stock basically. And on the back of the shoe, we got three stripes, and that uh, represents Adidas once again. And the good quality leather right here in the red um the inside you have the paper the laces right here you got the in no insole shoe besides tag right there right here is what people uh, in my family like but some people don't have it because it's way too expensive for them um this is adidas boost which is the most comfortable thing out there nothing like that this is this this beats this i this shoe actually beats nmds i tried it on they, they beat nmds um i just sold the shoe for 80 bucks on goat so shout out to them but anyway so that's boost very comfortable you can see how it runs all comfortability not that cheap foam right um, moving on to the bottom of the shoe, we got the rubber, and of course, the foam, I mean, the foam, the boost continues around the whole shoe. It's very cushiony and thick, almost my, like, like my EQT 9317. Um, very nice shoe. Right here, I noticed this, this rubber has Adidas trifoil signs, very dope. Right here is just rubber, and we got to the circle, and this also more Adidas trefoil signs. Seven. 
Um, so from my thoughts, I believe this rubber right here, this Adidas tree foil, this circle right here, and this triangle right here are the most strongest part of rubber on the bottom of the shoe. Those two are gonna stop are gonna stop the ground from scraping off this whole rubber easily. So this, this, and this say thank you to them because those will help um help the rubber stay intact. Um, sadly, this is not Continental Boost, but this is the Pure Boost. I know you don't see these in stores because I got them online at Adidas for 60, I guess, 65, 67 dollars, maybe 68. And I sold them already for like 77, so I made an extra 10 bucks, which isn't bad, right? Instead of returning them, I got another shoe down there that I'm gonna review. I'm probably gonna record it later at night because it's hella hot. <sighs> you see, guys? Mm. But yeah, it got the scale boost. This is the Pure Boost 1.0, not the 2.0, it's not the ones that you see for 140. Um, retail for this actually is 140, but they were on sale. So I decided to get them. The scale boost is more comfortable than the NMD boost. That's probably why it's more comfortable. But other than that, you can see right there, it has those nipples right there. One, two, three, four, five nipples, six nipples. I count. I count six nipples. Let me know down below what you guys count. Got the sticker saying it's dead stock also. Very comfortable shoe. On the system, it says, on the, says boost in black. Very cool shoe. Let me know what you guys think of this shoe. Did you guys buy it? I'll give you a better view. Would you guys buy this shoe? Would you guys uh, buy it and rock it? Or just hold on on it? If you saw this shoe for the price that I bought it at, $67. Or 63 plus tax. So it was around like $67. Would you guys buy it? Or would you rather wear your cheap little shit y'all be wearing? No hate. Just saying. LOL. Um, but yeah, that's what today's video, guys. Just wanted to record this video and bring you guys back a uh, throwback to. Not throwback, but most of you guys. I don't even know how old are y'all. But this is um, Pure Boost 1.0. Before the hype, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I'm surprised someone actually paid 105 for them, but I took a good percent away, so Not bad guys, I will wear the shoe, it's just I'm not gonna keep it because I already sold it That one, I'm not selling it, so if y'all interested, hit me up, uh, I'll do 80, but lowest is 70 Um, you'll see the video later on, but I'll give you a hint by the name, y'all can search it up on Google Size 10 and a half. This one I sold this, so I can't really offer it no more. But let's just go. Mm. I believe this one was. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Man. So, I thought today's video, guys, I wanted to review this Euthanich uh, Pure Boost 1.0. Very dope, dope, dope shoe. Um. No hate towards the shoe. No hate toward NMDs again, because I did say they're, these are more comfortable than NMDs. Just saying the true on, you know, opinions matters. So yeah, you got the, your opinion matters too, so let me know down below what you guys think of this business in the red and white colorway. Very cool. You guys can search it up and see the original price of the shoe. That's the code right there. There's no sticker there on the website. It doesn't say price. But there's a... Um, size you guys can see how much it costs but yeah guys um i said with today's video let me down below before i end the video i do want to ask you guys some questions um not a question but say thank you guys for letting me hit all these subscribers over the past week this past week has been amazing for me i gained probably a good 80 subscribers so far since the week week started back on monday so i really thank you guys for that keep watching all my videos and like and subscribe and comment make sure you go watch my top two three my top three videos which are the e 317 unboxing glitch one the trace khaki ultra boost unboxing review and i really can't think what else is big i'm gonna go with the ultra boost cleats but make sure you go watch them and get this video too um five likes i've been seeing at least three of y'all liking it three of y'all watching and liking it so make sure you go and like that this video down below, all my videos, make sure you comment below saying 
you like my videos or you hate them, no hate, I will comment back and tell me what I can do better. And make sure you subscribe because it really helps me. Um, thank you guys for letting me hit 600 by the end of July. Let's try to hit 700 now by the end of July. That's it with this video guys. Peace out and shoot up.